Welcome to the tutorial video for how to configure the Services Hub On-Demand Assessment for Windows Server. In this video, you'll learn the prerequisites to setting up the assessment, the requirements for the user account and settings used to do the setup, then step-by-step -step instructions for completing the setup. And finally, you'll see how to view and analyze the results of the assessment. If you haven't already, you'll need to install and configure the Microsoft Monitoring Agent on a data collection server in your environment. You can watch a short tutorial video at the link displayed here. To get started with the Windows Server On-Demand Assessment Setup, you first need a domain user account that is a member of the Local Administrators Group on all servers in the environment, and a member of the Local Administrators Group of the Tools Machine, and unrestricted network access from the Tools Machine to all servers. Next, enable PowerShell remoting on all machines, or configure it using GPO on all domain controllers. Next, ensure that Windows Update Agent is running on all in-scope servers for the security update scan. Then, ensure that the data collection machine is running Windows PowerShell 3.0 or later. IIS Management Console is installed, Log Parser 2.2 or greater is installed, and that the PowerShell execution policy is set to Remote Signed. Finally, use gpedit.msc to set the policy Do Not Forcefully Unload the User Registry at LogAuth to Enabled and also enable remote event log management through GPO. Now, to begin configuring the Windows Server on-demand assessment, you will launch a PowerShell prompt by right-clicking and choosing Run as Administrator. Before you run the commandlets for the Windows Server assessment, you need a working directory for your assessments. You simply need a directory and the path to that directory to reference in the commands. This directory will be on the C drive with the name Assessments. Now, in the PowerShell commandlet, you enter the command as add dash Windows Server Assessment Task. About halfway through typing the command, you can click Tab, and if you see the line autocomplete, you'll know that the agent setup module is loaded successfully. Next, enter a space, then a dash, then press Tab again to show the server name, the next input parameter needed. Now, within double quotes, enter the names of up to 40 Windows servers that you wish to assess, separated by semicolons. If you need to run the assessment on more than 40 servers, it's recommended to repeat the PowerShell command multiple times in batches of 40 servers. For the next input, press a space, then a dash, to bring up the working directory input. Here, input the path to your working directory in double quotes. Here, you will need to enter your domain credentials and then password and then hit enter. Now it is safe to close the PowerShell window. Next, open up the task scheduler. By default, the Windows Server Assessment will kick off one hour after running the PowerShell commandlet. For this example, we'll do a manual run of the task, so to avoid conflicts, you need to change the task to run at a later date. Navigate the menu to Task Scheduler Library, then expand Microsoft, then Assessments, then Windows Server Assessment. Right-click on the task, then choose Properties, and then go into Triggers and edit the default trigger to a later time in this case, later next week. Then enter the account information used to execute the task. Now, right-click on the task and choose Run. Once this is done, open up that working directory and go into Windows Server, then the Numbered folder. Within a few minutes, you'll see files begin populating this folder. To ensure everything is set up correctly, navigate to the Data Model folder. Here you should see registry folders for each server entered in the PowerShell commandlet. From this point, wait three or four hours, then you should see the initial results of your assessment in the Azure Log Analytics. You will see recommendations made by the assessment in your dashboard. To analyze the results and recommendations, you can click on the Windows Server Assessment and see all of your recommendations. Clicking on a given recommendation will show you the specific issues that prompted this recommendation the affected servers, and recommended actions for those servers. You also see the impact of the issue on your environment, the probability of this issue occurring and reoccurring, and the effort required to address the issue. This concludes the tutorial video on how to configure the Services Hub on-demand assessment for Windows Server.